This is Lenora again, Hawaii's Pickle Lady. We haven't had a video for a while because we've been really busy since Thanksgiving. And today we're honoring Burma or Myanmar. And I'm making three different salads. The Burmese have all kinds of ways of making salads, but this one is a traditional one and it's called La Pet. La Pet is spelled L-A-P-H-E-T. And what it is, it's fermented tea leaves and you can only get it in Burma. And I was fortunate enough to go to Burma with a friend a few years ago, and he took me all over. But unfortunately, I wanted to see the process, how it's made, but it was too far and we couldn't get there. So today I'm just showing you this. This is one of the ways that it comes. This is a box. It's all in Burmese, but it does say pickled tea purely vegetarian. Now, uh, it comes like this in a box. We'll put a link where you can order this. Before, my friend would give me often the uh, tea leaves. So it comes with a bag of fried sesame seeds, peanuts, and different kinds of lentils and nuts. It also comes with uh, a bag of uh, fermented tea leaves. And let me give you the history of this. In 1113, the king of Pagan in Burma introduced tea to Burma. And he sent for seeds to, from China so that they could plant it. And he asked the Palong tribesmen to plant the tea leaves. And then they decided to ferment it, do something different. So how this is treated is before the season begins, when the tea leaves are very, very young, they, they pluck the, the tiny leaves and then they, they steam it gently until it's wilted. And then they put it in these big bamboo cylinders and they stuff it in there and pack it and cover it up and leave it in the ground or a dark place for several months. And then all that juice from the tea leaves come up, comes out. And when it comes out, this is what it looks like. When I first had the tea leaves, it used to come in like a sausage and uh, it was wrapped in leaves. But as soon as you exposed it to air, it would ferment. So I would have to cover it uh, with oil and then it would keep for a long time. This is what came in the box, the fermented tea leaves, the lapette, and also the fried variety of nuts and beans and sesame seeds. So all of this will go in. The lapette is served in two ways. The traditional way is served in lacquer round bowls that have divisions in it and everything is put in sections, all different things. And then when you eat it, you just grab some lapet and then a little bit of this and that and eat it. The modern way is to make a salad and that's what I'm gonna show you. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna put everything in a dish. In restaurants, to make it fancy, they'll arrange it really nicely and then they'll, they'll toss it up. But today I'm just gonna put everything there. Now we put some lapet in here and then some of the fried goodies, some tomatoes, green onions, cilantro, some fried garlic, and these I made myself, but you can buy commercially too. And then some uh, shredded cabbage, head cabbage. And some sesame seeds. Some dried shrimp that I soaked a little bit. Some peanuts that I chopped up. The peanuts give it a nice crunch. And then some fish sauce to taste. Or you can also put salt and lime juice. 
Now we mix it. Mix it really good. Spread the lapet around. The second dish is a Burmese green mango salad. I prefer this over Thai green papaya salad because to me green papaya salad is kind of chewy and tough whereas the green mangoes are softer. However, in Vegas, I can't get really nice green mangoes like I can in Hawaii. So I just got the greenest ones that I could. They're very firm and solid, but you can see they're already half ripe, but that's okay. And I use this uh, shredder to shred these mangoes. So I shredded two green mangoes like this, very hard and firm. You don't want it soft because it doesn't work good. So the shredder will put it in the link. We've shown it before. And all you do is you peel it and then you shred it like this. There's two shredded mangoes in here. So no particular order, just add all of these things. So these are onions that are sliced thin, rinsed, and then soaked in the refrigerator to get it crispy. Some dried shrimp, some diced tomatoes, some green onions or chives, some minced jalapenos or green peppers of your choice, some cilantro, some fried garlic, and uh, this is just commercial, which is very easy, and some palm sugar, but palm sugar comes in different ways, but it's so hard, I can't even, I tried to melt it in a microwave, but then it gets hard. I put the uh, palm sugar in a mini processor and I'm trying to get it as fine as I could. So the palm sugar is hard to get it really fine. I guess I'll try with my bigger uh, processor and try to grind it up real good. So now I'm putting some toasted sesame seeds, some fried onions that I fried, and some fish sauce. So just mix it all up and it's ready to go. It's an interesting mix. You got sweet, sour, salty, crunchy. This is one of my favorite salads, so please try it. Because you know, sometimes uh, the American salads have a lot of uh, mayonnaise and all kinds of oil and dressings, whereas Burmese, they don't use a lot of oil and it's very healthy for you. Okay, so this is the finished product. We're now making a Burmese tomato salad something very different from American type of salads. First of all, you have to have this kind of powder. It's chickpea flour. Um, it's called besan or gra gram flour, product of India. And you only can get this from the Indian stores. If you don't have it, you can just use roasted rice or something like that. And um, you have to brown it. So I browned it in a skillet, but very low heat for about 10 minutes. If you don't watch it, it'll burn in a second and you don't want that. So you want this nice fragrant kind of flour. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm putting fresh tomatoes that I've cut in one inch cubes. So like the other two salads, there's no particular order. Just put everything in. So some lime juice or lemon juice. Give it some tartness. Some powdered shrimp that I've ground up, some fresh onions that I've sliced thin, rinsed it out, put new water and refrigerated it so it becomes crispy and drain out the water. Some cilantro, some jalapenos or any kind of chilies that you want, some chickpea flour just to give it some body, some fish sauce, don't worry about the measurements because all the recipes are on my website. Just look for hawaiispickalady.com. Some roasted chopped up peanuts and gives it a nice crunch. Some fried garlic, commercial, but you can make your own. And some uh, garlic that was fried in oil. Burmese like to have this. They call sea jet. They use it a lot in... Uh, noodles and other dishes and you don't have to refrigerate it and that's it just mix it up really good and it's ready to go i had this at a burmese party and i loved it now for the best part 
of the taste testing of the three Burmese salads. But now I'm going to tell you about something special I have. In honor of the 12 days of Christmas, starting December 14, every day I'll be giving away special prizes. So be sure to watch now to taste the lapet salad, which is the fermented tea leaves. And remember, you can only get this from Burma. No place else in the world has this. You see the colors in here? And if you don't realize, there's a yellow, red, green, white. The crunch in here is marvelous. It's, uh, you get the crunch from peanuts, from the fried nuts and all kinds of uh, seeds. Some Facebook followers say when they go to a Burmese restaurant, they love this and they want to order seconds. So all of these salads, you can make it yourself in for pennies and enjoy it and your friends will really like it too. The next salad is the green mango salad. In the video, I mentioned that I prefer this over the Thai papaya salad because to me the papaya salad is kind of crunchy and not as nice, whereas the green mango salad is nice and soft. Mm. The last one is the tomato onion salad. When I first had it, I loved it so much that I had to learn how to make it. So trust me, this is very healthy and uh, again, full of textures and crunches and colors. And for textures, this has fresh onions, fried onions, uh, some uh, chickpea flour and onions and cilantro. Let's taste it. You can taste all of the uh, flavors in here. It has some dried shrimp in it. Really delicious. Please try it. I challenge you to serve this to your friends and family. And if you take it to a party, people will be ooing and owing about it. Say, wow, what is this stuff? It doesn't have mayonnaise. It doesn't have any fats. And it's super healthy. And you can make it vegetarian by just avoiding the shrimp. But uh, otherwise... It's, it's very delicious. And please subscribe if you haven't, comment and like, and click that bell so that you can be notified whenever we make great videos like this. Mahalo for watching. See you again in the next video. Thank you, bye.